Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to do a very, very simple Excel spreadsheet that you can track all your trades with throughout the financial year. And then when it comes to June 30th and it's time to do your tax, it's all there. You don't have to do anything. Uh, go back and look at your trading. You can just give this um, Excel spreadsheet to your accountant. And it's really simple and it's worth its weight in gold. Okay, so I've got a, a blank Excel spreadsheet here. We're in A1 and we're going to put date by. Then tab, we're going to put code. Then tab, we're going to put buy price. Then tab, we're going to put quantity. A little bit down here, I don't spell it wrong. Quantity. Then tab, we're going to put buy fee. Then tab, and we're going to put total buy. So that's all the information that, that you're going to need when you buy a share. If you put that in, it takes probably 15, 20 seconds. to once you've made the trade, you bought the share, you come here, you fill those details in. Now we're going to tab twice to go to uh, H1, and we are going to put date sell. Then sell price. Then sell fee. Then uh, what we total sell tab again then profit slash loss that's where we will record the final result um, there is one other thing you can put in there and that's dividend if you do get the dividend you can add that in there as well I don't worry about it I don't um, collect dividends and I'm just quite careful not to collect dividends um, so, but you can put that in there if, if need be. So again, that is basically all the information that you need. So date by, code, buy price, quantity and buy fee, we're going to fill in once you've made your trade. Total buy, we're going to put a small formula in here which, um, so that it works, the, uh, works it out for you. So if you click on that um, F2 there and then you go into the formula bar, press equals and the formula, formula is going to be uh, C2, the buy price, so you just click on that and then we're going to go plus, I'm oh, sorry, we're going to go times which is uh, shift 8, and we're going to go quantity, then we're going to go plus the buy fee and we're going to go enter. So now that formula uh, is in there, so when you put your details in it will automatically work it out for you. Now we're just going to click on that and see that little square in the bottom right hand corner, we're going to get that there's a cross and we're going to drag that down however far you want to do it let's just go to 25 here and now that formula is going to be in place for for every trade so you don't have to worry about that anymore and then again with the uh, total cell we're going to do another formula here so click on K2 go up to the formula bar press equals okay so we are going to we are going to go the sell price so what's that i2 we're going to click on that box we're going to go times the quantity which is d2 click on that box then we're going to do minus the sell fee which is that one there and we're going to press enter so that's the formula for that little box there. And again, we're going to do the same thing. We click on it, and we're going to drag it down with the cross. We're going to drag it down however far you want. We'll just go to 25 here today. So that's that's the formula for that one. Um, so now let's just do a mock one. Let's just say we on the 13th of September, we bought, oops, I'm just going to fit uh, some WBC Westpac. Uh, we bought them at $30.50. We bought 1000 and we paid a $20 fee. So as you can see, the total buys worked out for us. It cost us $30,520. Um, and then on the 20th of the 9th, uh, we sold them for, uh, what are we going to sell them for? Um, let's say $31.00. The sell fee again was 20. Um, okay, so 39.80. Now we're going to work out the profit and loss, which is quite simple. 
it is the total cell. So we're going to do go back, so click on that L2, go up to the formula bar, press equals. We're going to go the total cell minus total buy. Simple as that. And there's your profit, four hundred and sixty dollars. So look, five minutes, and you've uh, you've got the the formula there. Now from here, I will play with it a little bit uh, just to make it look a little better. Um, what I'll do, I'll just highlight it all and just uh, right click, just get everything into the center. Um, I might go along the top here, just bolding these ones up. So click, right click again, just bolding them. I might uh, make that yellow just so it looks a bit better. Now, another thing that is quite important, these um, things here, the buy price and the sell price, we want to turn them into a currency and I suggest going to six decimal places on these um, because that's just, that's what they you may get sometimes if you buy shares at different prices you might put a bid in for a thousand and you might get some at thirty dollars fifty some at thirty fifty one and and the this uh, buy price is um, you know up to six digits long well sorry after the decimal point is six digits so what I suggest you do just click on that drag down to twenty five press control do the same on the cell drag down to twenty five right click it go to format cells we want to make it a currency and we want to go to six decimal places bada bing so there we go the other currencies here i just normally go to um to, uh, two decimal places so the buy fees are currency so we'll drag that down there holding control the total buy obviously that's currency um, the total sell fee total sell they're all currencies so we're just going to highlight all them by holding the control key and dragging down and we're going to go format cells again and we're going to go currency and just the two decimal places uh, on that one so and oh sorry I should put the profit and loss in there as well so we'll do that drag that down and again we'll just go to um, oh hang on what well, I haven't done with that I haven't dragged that formula down so again, like we did, we drag the formula down from there. We'll do the same here. So we'll go there and we'll drag that formula down. So it works for every line. And then we will control, right click, format cells. We'll go to currency, we'll go to two decimal places on that. So that's pretty simple. One other thing I do do um, that you can do is just come over here. Maybe we'll put another one up here um, and we can call it running balance. fit and just there we can very simply just keep a total of the um, profit and loss so as, as a profit and loss goes in there you just have to add it so I go equals and then we go um, what are we equals L2 at this stage that's all it is and, and as other profits or losses go in there we will just add them so we can go plus L3, you know, once um, once that's filled in. I don't do it beforehand because when you put your buy in, um, it'll it'll be a negative figure because you haven't sold it yet. If that makes sense. So we won't do it at this stage. We just leave it at L2 for now and add add them in as they come along. So that's a running balance there. Um, another thing you can do, which which I do, I'll go while you're on that running balance, that figure there. I'll go here and I'll make a, a condition on it. So if it's greater than um, 0 0.001, we'll make it a green number. See how it goes green. And if it is uh, if it is less than 0 0.001, we'll make it a red number. Um, so that then then it just um, it'll show you whether you know at a quick glance it'll go green if you books uh, in profit and it'll go red uh, if you're running at a loss um, that's pretty much it what I'll do I'll just go through put it in a few uh, mock trades and just show you how it will happen I'll uh, speed this up from here okay so that's 
a really simple Excel spreadsheet you can do. Look, um, it'll take you five, ten minutes to set it up and you know, just minutes during the year to keep it up to date and it will save you hours of, uh, of heartache um, um, if, you, if you don't keep uh, good rec records otherwise. So there you go guys, hopefully that helps and um, you can uh, keep good records when you're trading because it's very important.